Hi, this is Tim Von Rieden with cgcookie.com, and in this video tutorial, I'm going through a quick and easy way to draw snow in GIMP. I will take you through creating a couple snow brushes, and then use them to create the foundation for a basic winter scene. I will also include the brushes in the direct download link. So okay, let's get started. So with GIMP open, I'm going to go ahead and file to new, and I'm going to create a new document, I'm going to make this 500 by 500, and I'm going to set the resolution at 300. Okay, so I'm going to choose OK, and there we go. So now that I have my document set up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a simple soft edge brush to create our custom snow brush. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the, I guess it's called Circle Fuzzy and GIMP, and on a new layer, choose OK. I'm going to go ahead and lay down five dots. And then these dots will represent the five snowflakes that will be used in the brush. So there's no particular order, just kind of keep them um, slightly different looking from each other, so a little variation. And something just as simple as this. And when you're done, I'm going to turn off the background layer so I'm only saving these five, or the five dots that we laid down without a background layer. So now to create a custom GIMP or a custom brush in GIMP, I have to save it out. So I'm going to go to File, Save As. And then from here, it's a little different on the PC, but the folders are similar. So if you can find the folder, then just save it in the same spot. So on here, I go to File System, Applications. Then I go and I search for GIMP. Contents, Resources, Share. GIMP 2.0 and then there we go so finally we see the brushes folder so I double click it and it opens and from here I can go ahead and name it snow and also before you click save make sure that it, we're saving it as a GIMP brush so to check that if you choose down here to the select file type just scroll down until you see the GIMP brush, which is a GBR, and then click Save. So now it'll tell me that since there's multiple layers, like they, uh, do you want it to either flatten or merge visible layers? So I'm just going to do Merge Visible, because if I flatten it, the background layer might appear, and the brush would appear as a square rather than the five dots. So I'm going to do Verge mis ver Merge Visible Layers, and then choose Export, Save. So now down here where the brushes are, um, it might not be here right away and that's because you might have to refresh and you do that by clicking these two blue arrows and see how it um, just added this. So now I'm going to turn my background layer back on. I'm going to turn that layer off and create a new layer to lay this on. So see, we created our custom brush. But see how it's very pattern-like? We want to get rid of that. So to do that, you um, unfold the brush dynamic options, and we're going to turn random on. And for the pressure, we're going to change the size as well. So the harder you press, the larger the dots will be. Then the lighter you press, the smaller they'll be. There we go. So also make sure you have size checked for random as well. So now when I go ahead and lay it on, it becomes a little less pattern looking and a little bit more random looking, which is what we're going for with snow. So to better demonstrate this, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to go ahead and make this entire background one color. Do just a solid blue, dark blue. Fill it in. And on a new layer, I'm going to choose white to be my color. And I'm going to use, so now I'm going to go ahead and, oops. Um, I also have the color checked under pressure so that instead of black, we get the color that we're choosing. 
there we go. I'm just lightly pushing on, no particular order. And then change the size of the snow a little bit. Give it even a little more variety. So the little, the smaller the brush, I'm going to press down really, really light because that's almost giving the viewer a sense that there's depth and that the ones that are farther away you won't see as clearly or as bright as the ones that are um, very close up. So And since they're a little bit more in focus than the ones that are really close up, the ones that are really close up are going to be a little blurry. Okay, so now I'm going to hide those layers. Then we go back to our original snow um, brush layer, and I'm just going to blur it out. So I'm going to use Gaussian blur under the filters. I'm going to set it to about 20 for each, which is okay. So it gives it just a slight blur to it. And I'm going to use this brush for snowflakes that are closer to the viewer and a little bit more out of focus. So I'm going to turn off the background layer, just like before, and we're going to go ahead and save this out. So I'm going to name it Snow 2. And I'm going to make sure that it is set as a GIMP brush. And just like before, click Save. Choose Merge Visible Layers. And in the brush panel, choose the Refresh icon. And there we go. So now it's appeared um, right next to the old one. So now I'm going to go ahead and turn these layers back on. And on a new layer, I'm going to go ahead and lay our new brush down. Make the brush size quite large. And this one I use sparingly and just kind of keep it like away from the from like having too many of them because then it clumps together and it just looks unnatural. So there we go. So after I have that all laid down, I'm gonna create one more brush. Or actually I'm gonna go ahead and use the galaxy brush that they give you. So with this brush, which is this one right here, I'm just gonna go ahead and lay it down. Maybe have a little, and turn the pressure up just a little bit, so that I can lay it down a little softer. And make the brush a little smaller to kind of get that edge a little cleaner. So now we're going to make the brush much larger again to kind of give it that um, fog effect. So I'm going to turn this as far up as I can take it so I can just lightly tap this on. I'm almost using it like a stamp where I'm just kind of um, punching it on the tablet. And if I get more near the edge to get more of like a windswept kind of a feel effect to it. So now one more thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just create a simple uh, gradient that I'll go in the background. So to do that I choose my gradient tool. I'm going to choose a, um, a darker blue to start off with. I'm going to change my gradient type to do fade to transparent. And what that means is my foreground color, which is blue, so this is a dark blue, it'll just fade into nothing rather than fade into white. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a multiplier, and I'm going to lay it down 
near the top. And with that dark overlay, or with that dark fade, I'm going to go ahead and create um, a lighter gradient to go along with it. So on a new layer, all I'm going to do is I'm going to change this blue to a lighter blue. And instead of multiply, I'm going to change it back to normal. And before I went from top to bottom, but from here I'm going to click near the bottom and go up. And see how it lays in that nice color. And from here I can change the opacity if it looks a little too... Um, light blue I can make it if you take the opacity down more of that dark blue will come forward but if you turn it up that color that we just laid down will show more so I'm going to keep it somewhere around there okay so then that's the basics still laying down some snow foundations I'm going to also save these uh, GIMP brushes in the download file so I hope you learned something and thanks for watching